some for young as you tryna reach goals And still, can't stop, won't stop Did the puffy with the box, smell the roses No cap and I done a lot, baby I know kids don't want to hear it, but the, the fact is that the old souls, the old school mentality of basketball, of just, hey, play hard, you know, want to win, dive on the floor for loose balls, play defense, don't, don't dribble too much, take good shots, like all of that shit that you can't stand hearing and that goes one out in one ear and out the other from every coach down the line. Those are the kids who are really winning. Uh, those are the... The truth is those are the kids who are going to go on to be some of the best players that you know, the best players in the country, the kids who go off to the you know, best colleges in the country to go play basketball. When, when you go, when you get in the gym with those kids and you see that environment, that is really what's going on. Like shit has not really changed in basketball. You can get jaded by seeing um, what's going on, what you see on the internet and what you see in the NBA, but that is not real. That's not a solid base of what a youth basketball player is going to need to look like or need to do to really get to where they want to get. You, you, you would be such a fool to think that somebody who is, you know, a, a James Harden or pick any of them, you would be a fool to think that those, those guys at some point when they were children weren't doing all of the basics with a solid foundation first. They definitely were able to do those things. And that's why when they get to an Arizona state or a USC, they can, survive and actually thrive in those environments where the coach only cares about how how hard you're cutting to the basket he doesn't care about your ball handling ability or your ability to shoot a step back it it doesn't sound good and and that's why most of you the vast majority you won't be successful you will not reach your goals you will not become the basketball player you hope to be because you refuse to really listen to this. You refuse to go in the gym and change your mindset and not care about how much you're scoring or how how many highlight clips you're going to be able to get to post on your social media page. You know, you, you got to be able to buckle down and be an old soul. You got to be old school. That's why the most popular coaches in the, in the country, in the U S and college are like 70 fucking years old. That's why the game is so, so different. It has changed, but it really hasn't. That's why those guys are, are who they are and they're still able to thrive and survive. They understand how to win games. If you can be that old soul, if you can keep that old school to, to your mentality, you're going to end up thriving in the new school. Honestly, you don't have to like or subscribe to shit. I'm going to keep putting these fuckers out either way.